Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking baby back ribs in Asian style using a pressure cooker. So let's start cooking. Now we are going to prepare the marinade for the ribs. We will need two stalks of lemongrass using only the white part, coarsely chop them up. 30 grams of young ginger, coarsely chop them up too. Five cloves of garlic. 5 pieces of shallots and a small handful of kevlar lime leaf please remove the spine of the leaf we we'll just put them all in into my food processor or blender next we are going to add in 90 grams of palm sugar if you do not have palm sugar you can always use brown sugar or your regular sugar half a tablespoon of chili powder if you do not want your ribs to be spicy you can omit this or if you want it more spicy you can actually use more 1 tablespoon of turmeric powder 1 teaspoon of coriander seed powder half a teaspoon of nutmeg powder 1 tablespoon of salt and half a cup of ketchup manis This is approximately 125 milliliter. Now we blend all this together I've added in a quarter of a cup of water just to make sure that the blending process is very smooth. This is done. Now we'll prepare our ribs to be marinated in this beautiful sauce. I have with me over here one slab of pork ribs. This is approximately 550 grams. You can either tear out the membrane or for me, I just like to draw a few lines over here so the marinade will get into the ribs much easier. Something like this will do. Just roughly cut against the ribs. Turn it to the other side. We are going to make some cuts over here also. Because we want the marinade to really be taken in by the ribs. Just roughly just cut them up. Now that this is done, we will pour the marinade over this. Now we will pour the marinade all over the ribs. This is one of my family's favorite. Now we massage the marinade into the pork. Make sure you wash your hands. This is going to be so full of flavor. So once you have mixed them up well, make sure that you place the meatier part down. We'll cover this and we'll let this marinate for at least two hours. If you have the time, overnight would be best. I'll see you back in a while. I have marinated my ribs overnight and I'm going to cook it in my pressure cooker now. Just place the ribs inside the pressure cooker. If you do not have a pressure cooker, no worries. You can of course cook this in your oven or your air fryer too. Now I'm going to pour the marinade all into this pressure cooker. If you're using your oven to do this, just Try to brush off as much of the marinade as possible before you bake this in your oven. And to finish this off, actually reduce the sauce down. And when the ribs is done, just brush it over the ribs. But the way that I'm doing it over here, using a pressure cooker, this is a fast free way to do it. And it's very, very simple and it's really off the bone. Now that everything is in, we put the lid on. Put the lid on, lock it up, turn it on. And we'll pressure cook this for 30 minutes. I'll see you back in a while. The ribs are done. Let's have a look. Oh, it smells really, really good. I can feel that it's really, really very tender now. We just very carefully remove this. And we'll need to turn up the sauce. This will be really, really, really good. Before we thicken up the sauce, remove the marinade from the ribs and put them back into the marinade. And then we will thicken up the sauce. I'll show you how I do it in a while. For the marinade, bring it up to a boil. Put back the marinade that we've removed from the ribs. Set it up a little bit. Make sure that it's boiling before we thicken it up. 
Now that it's boiling, we'll slowly add in our cornstarch solution to thicken up this beautiful gravy or sauce. Basically, you want it to be thick enough so that we can coat the ribs nicely, but not too thick. Just a bit more and we are done. Okay. Now it's time to serve our ribs. The last thing to do is to take this beautiful gravy and brush some over the ribs. This will be super, super delicious. Right. And bon appetit! And now the ribs are done, let's have a taste. This is going to be so good. That is how tender it is, really off the bone. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.